The last intracardiac cause of high afterload is an aortic dissection. This is defined as a tear in the aortic intima that creates a false lumen in the aorta. You have decreased forward flow to your organs because of either true lumen compression, significant aortic insufficiency, or subsequent cardiac tamponade, which are complications of an aortic dissection. You also could have obstructed branch vessels and coronary occlusion. The causes for this are severe hypertension, connective tissue disorders, bicuspid aortic valve, or even trauma that can occur post-cardiopulmonary bypass in the cath lab or traumatic deceleration injury. Clinical signs you may see outside of echocardiography include blood pressure differential in the limbs, signs of complications as we mentioned such as AI, coronary ischemia or tamponade, or organ injury where you have decreasing urine output, rising lactate, altered mentation, and the treatment for this type of aortic dissection where you have a type A dissection is surgery and having strict heart rate and blood pressure control as well. To evaluate for aortic dissection, you're going to use mid-esophageal aortic valve short axis and long axis views, mid-esophageal ascending aorta short axis and long axis views, and then descending aorta short axis and long axis views. When looking in the aorta, look for the presence of a dissection flap. You may also see entry tears in between the false and true lumens as well. Evaluate for complications of an aortic dissection at this time. For the aortic valve, look for regurgitation and leaflet function. For the left ventricle, see if it's dilated, such as would be in the presence of chronic AI, or for the presence of regional wall motion abnormalities, which would clue you in to the presence of coronary occlusion. Finally, rule in or out the presence of pericardial and pleural effusions. Again, this is a rare perioperative finding, but it could be more common in patients with associated trauma.